Hi, I'm Mike with Trango Systems. Today we're going to show you how easy it is to terminate fiber in the field for use with your Apex Plus system. The Trango licensed microwave products are compatible with any type of fiber optic cable from single mode to the two types of multi-mode. In this case, we're using a 50 micron OM2 type indoor-outdoor fiber optic cable. Okay, let's go over the items we'll need to terminate the fiber. Of course, fiber. We need a fiber cleaver, wire strippers, some alcohol wipes, scissors, a marker, a ruler, some clear tape, a knife, and the fiber connector. So now it's time to strip the fiber. First step, put on the little fiber boot, connector boot. Get that out of your way. Next is to strip back uh, a portion of the buffer. And according to the manufacturer of this connector, that needs to be 40 millimeters, which is there. So I'm going to strip this off a little bit at a time. You want to be very careful not to cut the fiber itself. Okay, I've stripped back the buffer and now you can see just little pieces of the cladding which also must come off the fiber. The cladding is clear uh, and you'll see it come off as you strip the fiber. We'll use our alcohol wipes to clean any additional residue that's been left on. You want to make sure after you've stripped the fiber that you haven't uh, accidentally scored it. Just give it a little bend like that. If you have scored it, it will break. So we're good. That's basically what the cleaver is going to do. I'll put this into the holder and uh, the manufacturer says that the buffer should be at the 10 and a half millimeter mark like so. We're good. Just make sure everything's in there. Hold it like this. Lift up on the holder and press down again. That will take any tension off the fiber. It's a very simple act of um, scoring the fiber. Just press down on the blade just like that. That doesn't actually cut the fiber. Here's the cool part. You just bend this until that score you've made has propagated through the fiber and it breaks right off. Now that we've cleaved the fiber we can put the connector on the end. Super simple step. The advent of these filled installable connectors, this step is easier than ever. Make sure it's in there. Uh, bend the cable or bend the fiber a little bit just to make sure there's enough tension to hold it in place and then squeeze the holder and you now have an LC type connector. We're going to slide the boot up. That's now a complete LC type connector. Remember you'll need two of these to interface with your Apex Plus. Okay, second cable. Yep, and again Strip off a little bit at a time. Being careful not to cut the cable. The fiber optic. And into the cleaver, just like that. Into the connector. And now we have our second LC type connector, along with the first, this will create a complete physical link into the fiber interface of the radio. After you've stripped the fiber or if you've accidentally cut a piece of fiber, you want to dispose of that properly. One way to do that, just take the clear piece of tape that we had before and collect that piece of fiber along with any pieces that uh, are still within the cleaver. You can wrap this up 
and then throw it away.